we'll get one or two more at least. Building Healthy Futures developed and implemented a peer-led obesity prevention program at Omaha Northwest High School. And we just basically had fun making a meal and going around the supermarket trying to find all the right ingredients and trying to find healthy alternatives. Two student groups, a Youth Health Advisory Council and the Healthy Huskies Club, were designed to address the importance of healthy eating habits, physical activity, and body image. This information that they're learning from healthy Huskies and food choices that they're making in this class, home and be able to apply it outside of school and after they graduate, so they're making healthier food choices that don't lead towards obesity and the consequences that can come from that. It's very impressive to see them actually attempting to do these things. We're very excited for those students and how they can impact theirs and not only their families and others' lives. On the count of three. One, two, three. The Opening Minds to Healthy Living program brought nutrition education and physical activity into Council Bluffs Community School District classrooms. Frozen mango. Impacting kindergarten through third grade students and middle schoolers. That's so good. Delicious. Younger students loved experiencing healthy foods, while older students learned the connection between movement and health with tools like Go Noodle and Fitness Gram. So this is like our outdoor group, and so we're out here kind of doing some sledding, some zibobbing. Um, we're also doing some skiing for the first time. They just absolutely love it. All you have to do is walk into a classroom that's having a lesson done and you can see the excitement. It empowers them when they can have choices to be able to choose for themselves. A healthy student that's not hungry in the classroom will do much, much better to get their literacy, their math, all of those things that we are striving to do in the classroom. They love it. They get to harvest the aquaponics, they get to feed the fish, and they just get excited to be a part of the process. Girls Inc. had a clear objective. Grab it like this. With its farm to table program. So this will help get them on both sides. Of make nutritious food familiar, available, and desirable to girls so that they will make better eating choices and carry healthy habits into their homes and communities. This year, the girls built and maintained aquaponics systems. They also enjoyed gardening and cooking and eating healthy meals. So we start with gardening and growing crops and we harvest them and then we cook with them and we eat them. That's kind of the purpose of all of this is for them to see where it comes from, how you grow it, and then how it gets to your table. It's a huge thing at Girls Inc. because we see the outcomes later in life, the way it impacts the girls. We see how being obese affects their self-esteem and we want to try to give them the best possible chance when they leave Girls Inc. Milk. With the South Omaha Shape Up program, One World Community Health Centers developed a nutrition and exercise curriculum that reached child care centers, care providers, and parents. It's important to see these kids happy and healthy. Cuando miran a papá y a mamá. Promotoras, lay community health workers, taught classes to emphasize the importance of physical activity and making healthy choices. So these are people from the community, trusted leaders, they understand the community. Good job, give me five. They understand basic nutrition messages and they're able to communicate those messages in a way that people can understand. Okay, sugar is not really good for our body. We hope that the children that participate in these classes learn about the benefit of eating, of eating a variety of foods, staying active, and then when they go home, the message is, is conveyed to the parents. And this bottle has this. It's very interactive, very appropriate, and exciting for the community itself. Okay. So today we're really gonna break down that label and help you guys understand what a useful tool it can be. The Visiting Nurse Association brought its Cooking Matters program to children's. These free group classes empower families with the skills to cook delicious and nutritious meals at home. It's half of that. Simple things that often get overlooked, like how to measure, how to mix, how to chop, how to mince, how to cut, how to boil, broil, saute. Like, we just try to cover everything we can. And then we go to the other side. Professional chefs and registered dietitians taught kids and parents about nutrition, cooking skills, food safety, 
meal planning, and food budgeting strategies. I think it's a um, good opportunity to um, do an activity with my kids to teach them um, not only about nutrition but also how to cook. You know, it's getting kids exposed to vegetables and fruits that they never have seen before or might not have seen. New ways to try things, putting different flavors and tastes together, just try to get kids to eat more fruit and vegetables. So when it comes to healthy eating, like it has to start early. That's an apple. The Childhood Health Matters program provided a healthy living curriculum and physical activity opportunities to children in the Child Saving Institute's Early Childhood Education and Emergency Shelter programs. Tomatoes. Preschoolers had fun learning about nutritious foods and staying active. Children also enjoyed planting community gardens. It's really exciting, especially this summer we did a community garden um, here at our CSI campus on our playground and at the Spelman campus. And kids were so excited to plant and see things grow. We wanted kids to be able to have a palate for healthy foods, to be excited to try new things. Um, we wanted kids to know that physical activity should be part of their daily life, as well as healthy foods. And so we really felt compelled to make sure that our kids start in kindergarten at a healthy weight. Are you guys familiar with the food pyramid? Yes. The Families in Action program provided accessible, culturally appropriate exercise. I think it would go ingrained. Health and wellness education to Latino children and families. I learned about um, some foods like vegetables and fruits are very good for you. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, good job. The organization formed new partnerships to expand the reach of its programming, adding fitness classes, nutrition education, and mobile health screenings. I may only be 16, but I think it's important for kids to know about nutrition because nutrition will be something that they can hold on to for a lifetime. And I think it's just an important life skill to know how to like provide the right nutrients for yourself. By our expansion, we've reached over 7,000 children. They're learning a lot more about nutrition, but they're also becoming more active and staying active. It's not so much about losing weight per se, but about making healthy choices and, and kind of being holistic in their approach to exercise, nutrition, and wellness. This is the best time in the whole world. The Gretchen Swanson Center for Nutrition produced and distributed two new videos for child care providers and parents to teach movement skills and encourage physical activity. In this video you're going to see um, real kids in real child care settings um, doing physical activities, having fun with them. Wow, that was awesome! Having a teacher who really enjoys uh, working with them and can get them physically active. A Spanish language version of the teachkidsnutrition.org website also was added. And what we really wanted to do was reach a population of Spanish speakers who face uh, obesity as well, and in some communities at a higher rate than non-Spanish speaking populations. These new online resources help promote good health to educators, families, and children. In addition to those videos, we have a workbook, and that really gives parents or child care providers the chance to really practice using some of these concepts uh, in their everyday life with children. Uh, we hope that kids, parents, and child care providers um, learn something about how to promote healthy behaviors by watching these videos and by doing the workbook. Let's try that too. The goal is to start healthy ha habits early. Now we're going to put it on your head. Mills County Public Health in Iowa implemented the CATCH Healthy Living Curriculum in its preschools and after school programs. Gallop to orange, find the orange one. Find Daycare orange partners one. were equipped with a classroom friendly resource. Jump to blue! While children benefited from lessons on physical education and activities that teach and encourage healthy living habits. They love the program. I don't think they figured out yet that they're participating in physical activity because they're having so much fun. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> Go! Our hope is that if we start with children and teaching them at a young age about obesity prevention, then maybe as adults they won't be obese. It's exciting, it's different, and they're interacting with each other but yet learning along the way. Go! The results here are that children are asking about it. They're going home and they're saying, woe foods and no foods to their mom and dad and to their family. And they're asking their teachers, when are we doing catch?
Through the Let's Grow program, we're going to plant seeds. Whispering Roots taught students and adults the process of growing food through cutting edge aquaponic systems. I got to um, do some pipes and I felt like a mechan mechanic. <laughs> I got it! We bring in seeds, we bring in crops, we teach the kids how to grow, and we really think about going from seed to table. The kids propagate the seeds, they water the crops, they feed their fish, they harvest their crops, and then they get a chance to eat everything that they grow. In partnership with schools and community organizations, Let's Grow changes eating behaviors and attitudes. I got a, a worm. Through hands-on learning and growing activities. Do we like to get our hands dirty? Yeah! We do, don't we? They love everything with aquaponics. They are so excited. So this is a great way for them to be introduced to different kinds of vegetables and um, try different things that they normally wouldn't have an opportunity to try. We need more in this one. This isn't a project that's going to stop today. These kids and these schools will continue to use the growing systems that are here. They'll continue to grow food. These are life-changing events for the kids. Mm -hmm.